Okay, so first things first, before we get into it, I just want to quickly say that I hope y'all had an amazing Christmas yesterday with your family and friends. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then hopefully you're having a great holiday season. And uh, yeah, as you guys probably know, in this video, we are going to be breaking down the full details and animations for the upcoming LR Beast Gohan and LR Orange Piccolo from the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. And these guys are going to be dropping in a dual Dokkan Fest on both sides of the game within the next couple of days. Now, there's one thing I will say before we jump into it, and that is uh, they made some pretty interesting design choices with these units that are a little bit questionable. Yeah, I would say they're a little bit questionable, and it's causing some people in the community to be quite upset but that's all i'll say for now we'll further elaborate as we go through the details but of course before we talk about what these guys do we have to start with the animations which i haven't seen yet so let's pop over to the official jp dokkan twitter page and the reason we're not going with the global one is because for some reason they never include the osts for the global side so yeah we're gonna go for the jp one and the first video is not for the Gohan or the Piccolo, but rather for the side units, um, the Kid Pan, as well as the Goten and Trunks, and also a new free-to-play Gamma 1 and 2. So let me just quickly pause the music here. Uh, there we go. And let's full screen this. All right. Enjoy, guys. That was really good. That, that was really good. Um, so it looks like the Gamma 1 and 2, these are free to play units, by the way, are separate, right? At first, I thought they were like one unit, but no, it's, I think, a Gamma 1 and then a Gamma 2 as well that are free to play from a new story event. And then we have the animations for um, the Pan, which, you know, are super cute. I was a little bit confused about this guy because I forgot that the uh, free to play teen gohan from the movie is getting a token awakening so this is uh his super tech animation and then uh of course yeah we got the pan we got the goten and trunks and i love the goten and trunks man they uh you know become fat go tanks and then just like get bounced around by the crew um it's awesome <laughs> it's really really good so uh good start to the animations but of course you guys did not come for these ones right here you guys came here to see the beast gohan and orange piccolo and i've been seeing some reactions to the animations but once again i haven't seen them personally so uh this will be my initial reaction and i'm gonna try as always to stay quiet so you guys can enjoy the animations first and then we will react to them after the fact so i believe this is for the piccolo let's get it
Oh my god, yo, that orange piccolo active skill just looks amazing. Holy crap. Um the first two animations with just like regular piccolo, I think were were good. They they did, did look really good, especially the special being cannon, I think um was really well done. But nothing that really blew me away, you know? But yo, once we got to the orange piccolo, especially the active skill and then the uh super attack animations i think look fantastic as well but um yeah that active skill is is definitely the highlight here and i gotta say um really really good maybe not like the best animations in the game for sure i'm expecting more from beast gohan but they did a good job they did a very good job with piccolo i love that like how he just smacked uh cell max like it was like a giant bug you know so i mean he basically is i guess right so anyways uh that looked really really nice now let's move on to the main event you know the animations that everyone has been uh waiting for this entire time beast gohan himself so here we go What did I just watch, dude? <laughs> that was not a Dokkan animation. That was not a Dokkan battle animation. There's no way. There's no way. Hold on. Okay, yeah, uh, say what you will about any of the other animations we've seen so far. Okay, the super attacks, the entrance animations, whatever. Um, that is now the single greatest animation in the entire game. It's not even close. Okay, I'm sorry, Blue Gogeta. I'm sorry, Vegito Blue. I'm sorry, 
whoever your favorite, you know, animation, whatever your favorite animation in the game right now is, that just topped it. That just topped it. I mean, Gohan's 12 key, 18 key look great. They do. They really do. They uh, look awesome. But that active skill with the Beast Gohan, I mean, it does, it does not get better than that. It, it really doesn't get better than that. That is peak Gohan animation. And I mean, um, but okay, going back to what I said in the beginning of the video, there is uh, an issue with this unit, and that's the fact that um, it's an ultimate Gohan that becomes Beast Gohan temporarily in the active skill for the active skill attack, and then you go back to Beast, I mean, sorry, you go back to ultimate Gohan. And if you like think about it in the context of the movie, it makes sense because he only briefly appears in the movie, right? And then is gone after he uh, shoots the special beam cannon. Um, so, so I get it, I guess, but at the same time, I think people were really hoping for just a standalone Beast Gohan, or at least, you know, a Gohan that transforms into Beast Gohan, and then he has his own animations, he has, you can just basically use him for the rest of the events, right? That was the hope. And also for the Orange Piccolo, same kind of deal, like, you know, you start off as Piccolo, which is fine, but it's only a giant form for Orange Piccolo, as opposed to just a usable Orange Piccolo for an extended period of time, so... It's a little bit unfortunate. Those are the design choices that I was talking about where I was like, you know, people are kind of upset about it. Some people are saying they fumbled the bag. I'm not sure if I would go that far, but definitely not ideal in that sense. Anyways, um, we've spent so much time on the animations. It's time for me to uh, jump to the details now. So let's start with the Beast Gohan or rather Ultimate Gohan. Uh, awakened superhero, ultimate Gohan, a leader skill. Let's zoom in here. Leader skill is superheroes or hybrid Saiyans. Superheroes, of course, a new category. Or hybrid Saiyans, K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the bond of parent and child or movie heroes category. Uh, passive. Activates the entrance animation once only, and attack and defense plus 100% and guards all attacks for 3 turns from start of turn when there is another bond of parent and child category ally on the team at start of character's attacking turn. Attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional key plus 1 per key sphere obtained plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each super attack performed up to 150% launches an additional attack. It has a great chance of becoming a super attack when he is 20 or more and then attacks effective against all types when activating the active skill or when he is 24. High chance of nullifying key blast super attacks directed at the character. So there you have it, that is the passive for the ultimate Gohan and um, yeah, I mean it all looks great. Uh, he is going to be very, very good. Um, offensively and defensively, obviously. Uh, the guard for three turns is going to make him very tanky. And then after that, you'll have the built-up attack and defense from uh, launching supers, right? So, uh, yeah, he's going to hit really hard. He's going to have a very respectable amount of defense. Um, you know what, before I break down everything, before we talk about it, let's just go through the other details as well. So, uh, active skill condition is uh oh it's of course special beam cannon it can be activated when all allies attacking in the same turn are superheroes category characters starting from the third turn from start of battle or when facing only one enemy starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only so basically if you run a full superheroes team then you can get it very quickly on turn three if you are running a different team without as many superhero characters then uh you have to wait until the sixth turn and facing only one enemy and it greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate, ultimate damage, and disables enemy's action once within the turn. And uh, for the super attacks, the 12 key greatly raises attack and raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And the 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. So that is essentially the Beast Gohan. Oh, um, 
The links are all in the family, same warrior race, infighter, tracking speed, fierce battle, Kamehameha, and legendary power. And categories are superheroes, hybrid saiyans, bonded parent and child, movie heroes, Goku's family, siblings bond, bond of master and disciple, exploding rage, full power, transformation boost, Kamehameha, connected hope, and miraculous awakening. So yeah, those are all the details for the Beast Gohan. Let's go back to the passive here. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say. I think he is really, really strong. He's getting so much attack and defense. I mean, you get 100% here, attack and defense, 150% here, and then an additional 150%, which I'm pretty sure is calculated separately. I could be wrong, but either way, that's going to add up to just a stupid amount of attack and stupid amount of defense. So, um... Yeah, he's going to be really good. Uh, is he as broken as I thought he was going to be? I mean, I came in initially expecting them to be the best units in the game, right? And uh, I think there's the potential for that here, but I'm not 100% sure if that's the case. You know what I mean? Like, they're probably going to be the best units in the game, but they might also be like top five top three it's kind of hard to say right now with just the on paper details but definitely impressive definitely really really impressive so yeah i think top five is a lock top three is a lock it's just a question of whether they're number one and number two right so um yeah that's the beast gohan let's talk about the uh orange piccolo or rather the i keep saying Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo, when in reality, it's really Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo Power Awakening um, with the, you know, active skill into Beast Gohan for the attack or into Orange Piccolo for a couple of turns, right? So uh, I'm going to try to, you know, not say that just to manage expectations, right? So anyways, uh, we got the Piccolo Power Awaken, who is a super tech unit. His leader skill is Superheroes or Battle of Wits, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the Bond of Master and Disciple or Movie Heroes category. Uh, passive. Activates the entrance animation once only, and attack and defense plus 100% and guards all attacks for three turns from start of turn when there is another bond of master and disciple category ally on the team at the start of character's attacking turn. Attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained reduces damage received by 20% plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 150%. All allies key plus two within the same turn after receiving an attack if uh, HP is 30% or less at start of character's attacking turn after the character receives an attack 7 or more times in battle, fully recovers HP once only, plus an additional damage reduction of 30% starting from that turn. So, as you can probably tell, there's a lot of similarities between the two LRs um, on their passives, but Piccolo is definitely more of a defensively focused unit that's there to tank attacks and keep you alive with like the healing and all that stuff whereas Gohan is definitely uh you know going to be the damage dealer right he's going to be the one that's going to be launching multiple supers and uh you know getting attacks effective against all types just dealing more damage but not as good defensively as the orange piccolo or you know um piccolo uh with up to 50 percent damage reduction after you fall below 30 percent the first time so yeah, that is the Piccolo. I like his utility quite a bit. I like his tanking abilities quite a bit. I think offensively, he will put up damage. He will put up numbers. Just uh, not as many supers as the Ultimate Gohan, right? Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ultimate Gohan. I was going to say Beast Gohan, but then I realized it's still just Ultimate Gohan. Um, so yeah, that is the Piccolo. A lot of similarities, once again, to the Gohan. Just more defensively focused. More um healing slash support focused compared to the ultimate gohan who's more offensively focused and uh yeah um active skill is giant form or orange piccolo form can be activated when all allies attacking in the same turn are superheroes category characters starting from the third turn from start of battle or when facing one enemy uh starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only so same condition as 
the Gohan basically, and the skill or the effect is turned into giant form. And uh, his links are Brainiac, Solid Support, Namekians, Power Bestowed by God, Fierce Battle, Transform, and Legendary Power. And categories are Superheroes, Battle of Wit, uh, Bond, Master, and Disciple, Movie Heroes, Namekians, Worthy Rivals, Revenge, Rapid Growth, Gifted Warriors, Fuse Fighters, Giant Form, Full Power, Transformation Boost, Connected Hope, and Powerful Comeback. And oh, we didn't talk about the uh, super attack. So 12k super greatly raises defense and raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And 18k super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. And yeah, now we have the orange piccolo who looks awesome, by the way. And uh, he's a giant form unit just like, you know, any of the great apes or anything like that. So, uh, leader skill stays the same, passive is received an additional key plus 2 per key sphere obtained, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And of course, he's uh, invulnerable or has god mode uh, in this form, right, for the duration of the transformation, which I think is probably 2 turns, but I'm not 100% sure about that. It's 1 to 2 turns, like most uh, great ape transformations, right? And uh, super attack greatly raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage. Uh, 18 key super massively raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage. So yeah, that is the orange piccolo. That is the piccolo slash orange piccolo. Um, once again, I wish that it was a permanent transformation from the time you pop the active skill until the end of the event. But they decided to go with the... Uh, you know, giant ape or giant form uh, route, which is a bit disappointing. Is a is a bit disappointing. It says, yeah, giant form transformation will be deactivated after a certain number of turns. I don't know why they couldn't just tell us how many turns, but um, it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, there's Piccolo, and now this video is getting very long, so let's just quickly blast through the. Trunks and Goten and uh, Kid Pan as well. So we got the Super SDR, Teen Trunks and Teen Goten. Uh, leader skill, Bond of Friendship, Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Uh, passively, passive randomly changes AGL key spheres to key spheres of another type. Attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% when performing a super attack per superhero's category ally on the team, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% with 3 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional defense plus 50% and high chance of performing a critical hit with 5 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 50% and great chance of launching an additional super attack with 7 or more key spheres obtained. Uh, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Innocence, Shocking Speed, Infighter, Tough as Nails, and Fierce Battle, and categories are these ones, you guys can see, <laughs> and uh, 12 key super attack, or just their only super attack actually, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and seals the enemy super attack. So um, this passive looks great, I mean they're getting a huge boost, we've seen a lot of units like this, like the uh, tech Sin Shenron for example, where you're getting successively better boosts as you get more key spheres, and you know being an orb changer is great as well because it allows them to get more key spheres on their turn. And, um, yeah, they should be really, really good. Like a really, really good side unit. So, that's the Goten and Trunks. Uh, next up we have the Kid Pan, who is Super Int. And her leader skill is Bond of Friendship, sorry, Bond of Parent and Child, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Uh, passive key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150%, superhero allies. Key plus 1, attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 20% for characters who also belong to the bond of parent and child, or bond of master and disciple categories. So that's actually covering quite a few units in this game. That's like a decent pool of units that are getting key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50% support from this pan. And uh, medium chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, plus an additional chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, plus 30% when facing only one enemy at the start of turn, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies at the start of turn, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 100%, and high chance 
of performing a critical hit for four turns after evading an attack. So this pan is not only a ridiculously awesome support unit, but she can also put out some good damage um, on her own. You know, she's gonna be she's gonna be doing some damage and uh, also getting a lot of dodges because she gets she's gonna get. Um, let's see. So 30% chance to dodge, medium chance to dodge. So like, you know, 30% there, 30% there. Um, yeah, multiple supers, a lot of attack, good defense, amazing support. She, she's going to be awesome. Yo, this pan's going to be awesome. And you're definitely going to want to pull her for your superheroes team with the Piccolo and Gohan, right? So yeah, great, great unit. Uh, passive right there. And then uh, categories. Let's actually start with the links. Links are... All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, In Fighter, Battlefield Diva, More Than Meets the Eye, Innocence, and Fierce Battle. And the categories are right there. Of course, Superheroes is the team that you're most likely going to be using her on the most, just because of that support passive. And uh, her super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So there you have it. That is the pan. Now we're back to the beginning. Um... Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about the, well, all, all four units, actually, we broke down, but mostly the Ultimate Gohan slash Beast Gohan and the Power Awakened Piccolo slash Orange Piccolo. Let me know what you think about the way they're designed, the way they're set up, the fact that you don't get to use a Beast Gohan for the most part, and you don't get to use an Orange Piccolo too much, but uh, I'm sure they're saving those standalone versions for... Another, another time, another release, right? Like, we're definitely getting more Orange Piccolos, or at least one more Orange Piccolo and one more Beast Gohan standalone versions for like a future anniversary or something to that effect. So, um, it is what it is, I guess, but I'm still super hyped for our first movie Gohan slash Piccolo uh, from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. And, uh,. They're both going to be amazing, like, d despite what I said about maybe them not necessarily being the best units in the game, that's not even necessarily true, like, that, they could be, very well could be the best units in the game, I just don't want to 100% say that with confidence, because you never know with on-paper details, you gotta see the performance, you gotta see what they actually do in-game, right, so, I think they're probably the best units in the game, there's a good chance, but I'm just not committed to that yet, and, uh, I, I hope I pulled them. <laughs> I hope I pulled them. You guys know, man, my streak of luck recently has been really, really rough. So, um, hopefully, all of that shafting was just in preparation to pull fire on these banners. That is the that is the hope. Fingers crossed. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, belated Merry Christmas to anybody that didn't see my posts on Twitter and Instagram. And, uh... I will see you guys soon. I will see you guys soon. Obviously, we're doing summons. Obviously, we're going to do the new events. We're going to do uh, a lot of videos, a lot of content for this upcoming release because it's definitely one of the most highly anticipated releases in recent history for Dokkan. And the music is gone. One sec. Um, oh, no, we're good. No. Oh, that already played, didn't it? Okay, we're fine. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Um, of course, hit the notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.